Alright, what's going on? If you clicked on this video, that probably means that you want to build your own ROM hack, or you want to know how I built Black 2 Kaizo. So, I'm Sauce Yada, I made this Black 2 Kaizo and White 2 Kaizo ROM hack, and this is going to be a tutorial showing you how to do the same, so how you can build a Generation 5 ROM hack. So, a lot of people ha don't really know how to do this, this stuff for Gen 3, for Gen 4, uh, even for uh, the old Game Boy games, but not for Gen 5. So I'm going to be going through how to do it. So let's go over to uh, this Google Drive, and this is linked in the description. This is all of the hacking tools you're ever going to need for a ROM hack. So go ahead and download this. Um, just go to the link, hit download, and unzip it. And I'm going to be showing you how to use these tools to edit trainers today. So I'm going to have a multi-part series on how to do each individual part. So like how to edit encounters, how to edit the overworld, how to change stats, how to change evolutions. All of that uh, will be coming in a later video. So stay tuned for that. But today we're going to be working on how to edit trainers. Now this probably sounds pretty straightforward, but the tools that are used for this are from like 2012. Uh, they work great, but they're just a little bit complicated, so we're going to get into how to do that today. So the first thing you're gonna need to, going to need to do is to get your hands on a black2.nds ROM. So uh, it's not exactly legal for me to tell you how to do that, so you're going to have to find one of those yourself. I'm sure you can probably scour the internet pretty easily and find one, uh, but I'm assuming that you have one, and you're going to want to make sure it's .nds. So, um, a full for file format, not an xdelta. That is a patch. Uh, and if you want to see how to use xdelta, go to my previous video uh, to see how to do that. So, let's get into it. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, know what Tink is. Tink is probably the most important single tool for ROM hacking in any gen. So, Tink is a program. When you run it, it will open up um, this open window. And what we're going to do is we're going to find our black2.nds ROM hack, or the ROM hack we're going to be making, and it opens this window here. So this is a file explorer, basically, for all the different parts of a .nds file. So you have A right here. This is all of your uh, different NARCs. So there are a ton of different nested folders here, and they all have some information in them. And they're all labeled by number, which really sucks, but I am also including in the description a link to some uh, community-made document that tells you basically what all of these are. So you'll be able to just control F and find what you need to find. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to need A091. So A091, and you can check right here in the relative path, A09, and then you click on 1. This is your trainer data. So we're going to want to extract this. But before we do that, we're going to go to whatever folder that we're working in and make a new folder. So this is going to be TR data, like that, TR data. And we're also going to want to make another new folder called TR pokey, T R P O K E. Uh, it doesn't matter, matter what you call these folders, but that's really what the NARCs are called, so it's way easier to keep track of it that way. So we're going to extract this. Uh, we're going to extract this um, 0, 9, 1, and this is our TR data, and so we're going to put this in our TR data folder. Uh, when you're working on a ROM hack, make a folder for everything. It makes everything so much easier because you very quickly pile up lots and lots of files and you want to be able to keep track of them. So call it trdata.narc and hit save and we're going to do the same thing for 092 extract it and this is going to go into our trpokey and this is our trpokey.narc and so these two narcs basically tell you everything you need to know about trainer battles. TR data tells you how much of the uh, TR data tells you how many Pokemon, it tells you uh, the AI of the trainer, it tells you whether it's a double, triple, single, or rotation battle, while TR Pokey tells you what the Pokemon are you are you actually going to be fighting. So now that that's done, we can close out of Tank, and we're going to go open uh, this right here. So this is called Kiwi DS Editor, and so what Kiwi does is it allows you to edit um, it allows you to get your files in an editable um, 
format. So we're going to open our Kiwi DS editor, and so we're going to click this uh, file open button right here, and we're going to go uh, to our TR data folder. So at first you see there's nothing here, um, and it says supported files. Just go to all files, and it should show up just fine. Uh, I don't know why it does this, but just click on trdata.narc, tr and you're going to then double click on this, and so this should open another window here, and I will show you why this is important. So there are a bunch of different trainers in this game. There's 813 of them. They all have trainer data corresponding to them. So in black 2 and white 2, uh, A091 is TR data. This is different for black and white. So uh, be sure to make sure you're extracting the right NARC if you're doing black and white 1, not black and white 2. There's they're different, they're off by one. Um, but you can search those pretty easily on the internet and find what they are. Uh, so what this Kiwi.ts editor does is it dumps all of this stuff in individual trainers. Uh, so you'll see what happens in a second. I'm just going to hit select this. So they should all be checked now. And then I'm going to hit this button that says extract selected. So we're basically extracting this twice. Um, and you can see it going ahead and doing that right here. and should say 814 files extracted. Uh, so now, if I did everything correctly, we can go into TR data right here. And we should have our NARC file and everything that we extracted. So this is the individual trainers. Uh, and this is something we can edit using tools. So you'll have TR data folder right here that holds both my NARCs and my individual trainers. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the others. Uh, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to open up our TR Pokey and going to go to all files, open up the NARC, and TR, double click on TR Pokey, hit the checkbox, extract all. These tools make this very helpful. All right. So if we did everything correctly, TR Pokey should have a folder, and that folder has everything in it. Okay, good. So, once we do that, we can use our Gen 5 Trainer Editor. So Gen 5 Trainer Editor, uh, as a disclaimer, none of this was made by me. Uh, these are all community-made tools uh, by a variety of people. So this right here has a readme that tells you, okay, I have the NARCs for TR Data and TR Pokey. I've extracted them uh, for black and white. It's uh, 092 and 093 for black 2, white 2. It's 09109. Two. So we're going to use these ones, and since we've extracted them already, we're just going to run BWTE. It should take a second to open, and we get this little UI here that pops up. Now, we want to click Open TR Data, and we're going to go to our uh, place where we have our... Uh, where is it? Our TR Data and our TR Pokey. So you see I have these two folders here, so... What this does is it asks you for a folder of individual trainers. So we're going to go here, TR data. So open that up. And then we're going to do the same thing for our TR pokey. So it takes a while because I have a ton of folders because I've been working on a lot of different ROM hacks. Uh, tutorial and TR pokey. Okay, so we're going to open this up. And so now what you'll see is it loads it up and it's like, okay, now we actually have some things to work with. So uh, one thing that's really helpful is to use Bulbapedia. So we'll go black to walk through. So let's open up Bulbapedia and just see like what the first trainer is. I know it's Youngster Tarot because I've worked on Black 2 Kaizo for the past God knows how many months. Uh, so if we scroll down, go to Route 20, we should see uh, trainer youngster Terrell. So we're going to want to edit this guy. The best thing about this editor is that you can search trainer names, and that's why I've used it so extensively. So you can type in T-E-R-R-E-L. Okay, look, it's right there, and so then I'm going to click here. Okay, nice. It's a youngster. He's a youngster. It looks like it's lining up. He's got one Pokemon, and it's Patrat. So now we can actually start editing trainers. This, this is exactly what you want to get into. So uh, I like to make my games a little more tough. I like to have double battles, so I can select double battles. I Maybe I'll give him two Pokemon, since he's the first trainer. We'll give him 
uh, set moves and set items. So once you do that, you'll see that I can actually select his move and I can give him an item. Uh, AI level, uh, for a single battle AI, your best AI is 7. For double battles, it's 135. Those are the really only two you should ever use. So since it's a double battle, I click 135. Uh, I always hit save trainer. Um, because one weird glitch that will happen is that you won't be able to change the ability gender or anything like that until you reload this trainer. So once you change the number of Pokemon, you always have to hit save and then just reload it by clicking on it again. Um, you'll get this error here, but don't worry, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just because the gender is empty. Just hit any, hit save, and then refresh it again and you should be good to go. Now you can edit both of the Pokemon. So let's say I want Patrat. I'm going to give it like Giga Impact because uh, I don't know how to balance a game. And maybe I'll make it like level like 31. And then we'll put like an Arceus because everyone needs an Arceus on the first route. And it's going to get Explosion. And I want the IVs. So the IVs work a little differently than everything else. Um, you have 0 to 255, because this is, I think, an 8-bit system. So 255 is like 31 IVs across the board. I'm not really sure what the other ones do. Uh, I think they're different IV values for different um, stats. So you'd have to explore that to see really what they do. Um, ability, it has the list of abilities here, so I'm just going to give it multi-type. If you give it any, it just kind of picks one randomly. Uh, gender, you can change. Uh, so the last thing I want to show you is the nature. And the nature is uh, probably the most irritating part of this. So there's this, this checkbox right here. It says Bonds Nature Hack. And so uh, if you click this, it will royally destroy your ROM. Do not ever check this. It does not work. Reason being, uh, the patch that was made to enable the ROM to uh, be able to change natures doesn't actually work. Uh, you can try it yourself, but it's very buggy. I could not get it to work. Uh, so the natures are unfortunately random, but for the most part, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, so once you have this trainer, I'll put my RCS back since Bond's nature hack messed it up. Um, you can change the form. So this is a really nice thing about this. Uh, if the Pokemon has multiple forms, like Rotom, you can also choose the form. So if I want Fan Rotom, I can do that. Wash Rotom, whatever. Uh, same thing for Chirum. I can do Chirum black or white. So I can do all that kind of stuff. Um, and then once you're done, click Save Trainer. So what the Save Trainer button actually does is it changes these... Um, these individual things right here. So you're actually editing these files directly. You're not making a backup or anything. So uh, most of the time it doesn't really matter, but just be aware that uh, this can mess things up if you're not documenting what you're doing. So once you're done, you're just going to hit Save Trainer, blah, 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 and then you're going to escape out of here. And you'll probably be thinking to yourself, well, dang, I still have everything stuck in this list of... Um, individual files like I don't I don't want that so luckily Kiwi has a way of undoing what we just did so here's what we're gonna wanna do you're going to want to use the tools tab and you're going to select make narc file okay so now that I have this uh, open up right here I'm going to um, let's actually move this over so we're going to tools, make an arc file, and so we're going to need the sources file folder. So what that means is for TR data, uh, one thing to note is I always change my version control by doing TR data and put a one after this to let me know that this is an older file. Um, unfortunately, I think I have this open in another tab, so let's close out of other tabs. Make sure, yep, it was open in Kiwi still. So let's make this into tr data one to show it's an older version so we don't accidentally overwrite it and then we're going to go to kiwi ds editor hit tools and make narc file so let's go ahead and do that all right so our source files folder is going to be 
this folder right here. So one way to access this easily is just by selecting it and then clicking right here and hitting control C. So for me it's gonna be users, Michael, documents, ROM hack, tutorial, TR data. Uh, for you it's probably gonna be something different. So copy that and then paste that right here. Delete the second line and you're going to want to go to this uh, address right here which is the one above the one you were just in. So if you go back up here you should be in the same folder as your other NARC. So we're going to copy this address right here. And we're going to paste it here in the second because we want to output it in this folder. Hit OK. And then you'll notice that we output our new TR data NARC. So you're going to want to do that for your TR Pokey as well. And it should work identically. Just select TR Pokey. And the last thing you're going to want to do. If you're, let's say you're done with your ROM, you want to put all of your NARCs back together and rebuild your ROM, here's what you do. You, do, you go into uh, Tink, you go into the executable, open it up, and you're going to open up your Black 2 ROM, and we're going to go into A091 or 2, depending if you want to do TR Pokey or TR Data. We'll just do TR Data for now. And instead of extract, I'm going to hit change file. So we're going to change this file into our new NARC. So let's go into TR Data and select our new one. So one thing to always note is the date modified. So you're going to want to select the most recent one. So at 3.35 p.m. instead of 3.24 p.m. Let's select that one. So we're going to open that one and then it will just kind of manually put it in there by itself. Hit save ROM. And since we are just working on a very small scale project, I'm just going to say black to edited trainers. And you save it as a .nds, hit save. And it, you know, it saves new ROM, it takes a second to do it. Uh, you can close out of tank. And now you should have a new NDS, so black to edited trainers.nds. And if you go into the game, you will actually fight this new youngster, Terrell. So that is how you're going to edit trainers. There are lots and lots of trainers, so I highly recommend going through Bulbapedia and seeing all the different trainers on different routes. And so if you're going to make like a difficulty hack like Black 2 Kaizo, you can go ahead and change these trainers manually, uh, just like that. If you want to train change their trainer class, you can also do that. Um, you can change your Pokemon. Uh, if you want to say change last Isabella into Cynthia like I did, you can just search up Cynthia and find what trainer class it is. And it's class 100, so you can just change uh, instead of a last, there'll be a Pokemon trainer Cynthia type. So you just change that that way. So that's about it for me. Uh, I hope this helped. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments or come join my Discord server, which is also linked in the description. You can find a lot of people who like ROM hacks, who like playing them, who like making them there. Uh, so with that, have a great day.